In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everybody. Today we celebrate the feast of Mary, Mother of the Church, which was a feast recently created by Pope Francis. Let us begin by placing ourselves before the Lord, and we ask for his forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary foremost among the poor and the humble to be the mother of the Savior, Grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth, from you should, should come forth one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord give them, will give them until this time, and she who is born and the rest of the brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God. And they shall remain from now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My horn exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in his victory. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tire and gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life, he casts down to the netherworld, he raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich, he humble, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Savior. He raises the needy from the dust, from the dung heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord be with you reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to, to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? 
or who gives you the authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's, ba John's baptism of heavenly or human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say, then why did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin, they feared the crowd, for they thought John was really a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, we do not know. And Jesus said to them, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we celebrate this Feast of the Blessed Mother, we are reminded again of her love for us. She was, to her son, a great support, not just of him, but of his work, his uh, efforts in the ministry. She was not just, he was not just her son, he was, she was also his supporter, his, his teacher in a lot of ways. We continue to see how she remains with the church, watching, watching over, a bus, over us, just as what happened in the, in the New Testament, in the Gospel, where Jesus gives to St. John and to us the mother of, to be his mother, from the cross, he says, woman, this is your son. Son, this is your mother. And so she supports and strengthens the church and the work of the apostles when she goes to live with John. Just as we see these great examples of her motherhood, of her love, of her support and care for not just her son, but for the church, the apostles, and all those who believe believe, so too does she continue to support and strengthen us by her motherly example, by her love, by her generous attention to all of us and to the work of the church. So we are blessed again to celebrate her name and her presence among us. And we ask her to continue to pray for us and to strengthen us as the church, her sons and daughters. Let's pray that God will bless us, the members of the church, with his, with his support, the love, the strength, and example of his blessed mother, we pray to the Lord. For in thanksgiving to the blessed mother, as her as our gift, and her support and strength to all of us and the work of the church for all those who need her care and love, for those who support and strengthen us, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, especially from the virus, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are ill with any disease or care or worry, let us pray to the Lord. And for what else should we pray? For these prayers, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, hear our prayers. Strengthen us by the example of your blessed mother <clears throat> and let her support us in our work for the faith and in our lives through Christ our Lord. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and to praise bless and glorify your name on this feast day of the blessed virgin mary for by overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice 
may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously hope, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, re and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your, your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, <clears throat> have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Us pray. <clears throat> Grant to your church, O Lord. God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>